Hello, my friends, and welcome to your show. This is a new show. It's called Drums and Music with Enrique. I'm your host, Enrique Solorzano, and first of all, I would like to introduce myself. So my name is Enrique Solorzano. I was born and raised in Mexico City, and I started developing uh, like uh, the feeling to play music around when I was 15 years old. That's when I started uh, going to, to music school, and... Afterwards, I decided to, to go to music school, so I studied drumming and then musical engineering and production. So I've been playing the drums from about uh, 18, 19 years, and I'm a musician. I work as a full-time musician, and well, yeah, so then my purpose with this uh, show is to share my love for music and for drumming. And if you want to pick up this beautiful instrument, there's no no better time to do it than now. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start playing uh, a few songs, and uh, yeah, so let's let's start playing a few songs. I I have played with uh, several bands in Mexico City and in Canada, so we're gonna start with this band, which I used to play. This was my second band. So we were named Deus, and we came up with the name with by uh, by the initials of of the band members. So it was Daniel, Enrique, Uriel, and Santiago. So Deus, there you go. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with this song, and it's called Volverás a mí. That means come back to me.
Well, my friends, that was Volveras uh, Ami by Deus, so it means you will come back to me. So a little bit about this band. Uh, I remember we were around 17 years old, 18 years old, when me and these bandmates start with this band, right? And I think one of the mistakes we make when we go to music school is that because everyone is so competitive, right? We want, uh, we don't want to socialize or we see uh, our classmates as competition. While it doesn't have to be that way. You have to think different and what you need to do is networking. You have to uh, meet people, even if they are drummers, there will be times where you will need uh, uh, someone that covers that covers you, right? And it's pretty, pretty good, trust me. It's pretty, pretty good to have someone just in case that can uh, like uh, play a show if you if you can who can fill in for you and you need to, you want someone who you can trust <laughs> because I've been there I remember like back in the day I had a band we were called Los Aros de Cebolla that means the onion rings and I had I had to to step down from the band for a few months and I was looking for for someone that could take my place it was so hard so I contacted this guy from music school and like I'm not lying, I told him, I asked him three months in advance and I asked him, I was like, hey, can you do this job? And he told me that, yeah, he could. I sent him all of the music sheets because he knew how to read music and it's way easier for you. I know there were like like 50 songs, but he had three months and I gave him the, the, the music sheet. So he, he, didn't, he didn't need to learn all the all those songs, right? So maybe if he was skilled enough, he could read and play those songs in the show. But yeah, I, I remember, I think he he didn't do a, a good job and two shows later, boom, he was fired. So trust me, you need someone who you can trust and as well, you need to meet, to meet musicians, guitar players, bass players, uh, music engineers, because there'll be a t time where you want to record, to like record an album and you need someone who you can trust. So if you are in music school or thinking about that, don't be like that. Don't burn bridges, right? You need to uh, create a network who then, a network you can trust and who you will go to when you need something. Like for example, with this band, Daniel, he's the, the guitar player. Now he's running a music school in Mexico City. And since I met him, we have been working together. So we play for a famous artist in Mexico. We produce an artist named Perla. And he has invited me to play at his uh, uh, Christmas music school shows. So yeah, like the, we have a, a very good relationship and a working relationship. If I need anything guitar related, uh, production related, I go to Daniel. So don't make that mistake. Okay, now let's play another song. How about jazz? Do you like jazz? I love jazz. So let's play uh, like this this song by Dromeo. It's called Jazz Play A Lot. Okay, let me see if I have it. Let me see. I have tons of songs over here. Yes, okay.
Okay, so that was uh, a little bit of uh, of jazz, of swing. Uh, I love jazz. That's uh, one of my my how do you like love of my life? Jazz, music, drumming. So uh, one of my favorite jazz drummers is Antonio Sanchez from Mexico. He's amazing. He has been playing with Pat Metheny. So if you would like to listen to some jazz, you can pick any any album by Antonio and he has this album named The Meridian Suite. It's like incredible. From top to bottom, it's incredible. So, well, uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about in this first show is uh, that during my times as a drummer playing in different venues, uh, it's funny that uh, a lot of people, they came and talk to me, right? And they were like, they used to tell me that the band was sounding nice, that they like a song, etc. But most of them, they told me like, hey man, I, I wanted to play the bass. I wanted to play the drum. I wish I could play the drums. And I asked them, why don't you do it? Uh, like they come up with some stuff that is valid, right? And I understand, like I don't have time. My parents didn't support me. Like what I'm going to do as a musician. <laughs> And yeah, it's it's hard to to be a full time musician. And actually, uh, there's a, a course online, and it's hosted by Matt Halpern. He plays the drums from a, a band named Periphery. So he's very business savvy, and wh what he says is that if you want to be a successful musician, you need to do more than play music, right? So he is like, okay, if you're young, why don't you start working at the music store? So, so you will get uh, some free gear, some discounts, and you know a lot about your the, the stuff, right? Uh, also, he, he talks about creating uh, your online lessons uh, course, right? So you can sell some stuff. So yeah, it's, it's not easy to be a full-time musician, but you can do it. And if you wanted to play an instrument, do it. Just pick it up. And as with everything, you have to be consistent. But it's it's very easy to think that, okay, I didn't play for the entire week. I'm going to play for three hours straight on Sunday. That's not how it works. It's like if you exercise, right? If you want to uh, do some weights, right, and you want to get buffed, it doesn't work that way. So you have to do weights four or three days, right, during the week. Maybe rest one or two days. And so same thing for music. If you want to pick up an instrument, it's okay if you play for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, but on a daily basis or five days a week, then doing it three days straight. So if you want to start with the drums, like uh, follow me on social media. I'm on uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. You can find me as Enrica Drums MX. Over there, I have uh, a lot of videos that cover uh, topics since uh, from the beginning to how to play the drums, how to play the right cymbal, how to play the hi-hat, right? Two more advanced stuff like how to play a drum solo. So if you wanna pick up a pair of sticks and start hitting stuff, uh, head ahead to my YouTube channel, Enrique Drums MX, subscribe, and I upload stuff over there uh, almost every week. Okay, so I'm gonna start playing another song. So how about funk? I love funk. Funk is another one of my loves <laughs> in life. So let's play this song and it's called All Good.
well, my friends, there was a little bit of, of funk. <laughs> and uh, so one of my favorite bands is Tower of Power. And the drummer over there, David Garibaldi, it's, he's amazing. So, well, I, I grew up listening to Tower of Power. And it's pretty funny because in Mexico, there's a, an artist named Luis Miguel, right? So he's huge. He's huge. And he has a song called Que Nivel de Mujer. So that means like, what level of a woman. And that song, it's the Attitude Dance by Tower of Power, but with different leaks, lyrics, where like a, a Luis Miguel sang, right? So what happened is that Luis Miguel, he's a fan of this band. And he told him, you know, okay, I love this song. I want to sing over that song. So they were like, okay. So they went to the studio and they recorded that song for him. So, yeah, so that's uh, like uh, something funny. Okay, so, yeah, like I was saying, uh, I remember I was playing a gig at, a, at an Irish pub. And there was a guy who was a regular customer. And he was a doctor. So I remember that he used to go all the time and he was very nice to us, right? And he told me, he like, hey, how do you do that? Uh, and I was like, well, I just hit stuff, right? Obviously, yeah, I went to music school, but it's no way compared to being a doctor. I told him, how do you do that? He was like, oh, like I went to school, I read some books, <laughs> same thing here. So I think we have different abilities, right? And there's this discussion between that that is that goes like either you have talent or you don't. But what I think is that yeah, there are people that have talent and there are people who don't have talent but they put on the work. So I remember when I was in music school, like uh, one of my teachers, well, like we had this discussion. And he told me, you know, like I have this student. And he has, he's very talented, but he's lazy. So he, he had a band with his dad and they used to play in a lot of weddings. So my, as my teacher told me, he's very talented and he's experienced, but he doesn't want to put, to put in the work, right? So there are like a lot of things he can fix. And if he committed to study, he could fix them like this. And we have another, uh, I have another classmate he plays jazz and he, he's amazing now. He told me, like, for example, this guy, I don't think he's as talented as the other one, but he works really hard. So, and yeah, so that's that's in life and in music. So if you want to start playing something, maybe you will have talent for it or maybe you will need to work just a bit harder. And I remember I, I've teached drums uh, from a long time. And one of my students, there were two brothers. One was 11 and the other one was eight years old. And I remember the 11 year old, he struggled a lot playing the, the exercises while the eight year old, he could play the exercises right away. So the eight year old was more talented with drumming than the other ones, uh, than the other one, sorry. And yeah, like all of us, we have different talents. Like for example, my sister, one of my sisters, she can paint and draw like amazing. I can't paint and I can draw. And I I tried it. So I think if maybe I put in I put on the hours, I could get something decent. But yeah, she it's second nature for her and she's she's very talented. Okay, so now I'm gonna play another song. This is from a Canadian band. It's called Jen Y and the song is Money Money Money. I don't see what you're looking at Seems to me color was painted black What you mean by opportunity? Is it just money, money, money?
So well, that was Money, Money, Money by Gen Y, uh, Gen y. <laughs> like Generation Y, exactly. So but playing with that band was amazing because I've been lucky enough on my career to play different genres. So I played rock pop, uh, it was uh, punk, I, I used to play with a punk band, right? I used to wear like the hat backwards and like sleeveless, and it was, it was pretty funny. And uh, uh, with this band, I could play folk, which was something I hadn't the chance to do. So it was uh, a very good experience. And as musicians, and I think as individuals, we need to expand and live out our comfort zone. So, well, my friends, I think this is about it well, for today's show. Thanks for joining. Please follow me on social media. You can find me at Enrique from CMX. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube, YouTube, subscribe to the channel. I upload uh, drum lessons over there. I broadcast uh, every Sunday here at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, thanks for joining us. I'm Enrique, Enrique Solorzano. This was Drums and Music with Enrique. Follow me on social media and I'll see you on the next one. Let's get it on.